All right. So that's. What about the second octave? Wrap around notes. What do they Wrap go around? after this? A B B. Look at the notes. Don't guess. Wait, wait. The First note. A B. No, this would be C. Right. That would be. This is C. Right. But this is okay. But what is the major scale? Use the shape. You're right. You're right. What note is that? Um, okay, so stop real quick. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Boom. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Boom. Same shape. All right. Nothing's changing. Okay? Let's try it from B one time and do a decipher style. From B? Mm-hmm. So let's... All right. Start from B. So what? what's the first rule? English alphabet in the order of it, the way it goes, right? Um, B, C, D, oh, yeah. Yeah. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, back to B, C, D, E. Yeah? Yeah. All right, but we're going to stop. Okay, so now I'm about to blow your mind and make you hate me, right? You ready? Let's do it for C sharp. For C sharp, what are we doing? First of all, what's the rule? The rule? The thing that we were saying to make it easy for us. Write the alphabet down. Okay, so how would I do that? What would I write? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. A, B, C, and then again? Mm -hmm. uh, C, D, E. It'll be D, E, F, I think. Okay. Now play it. You'd have to literally write E sharp and B sharp like this to make this work, right? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So the solution is to instead of writing it from C sharp, to actually write it from D flat and use flats to spell it out. Oh. Okay. okay. So if we spelled it out from D flat, what would that be? D flat. First, same rule again, English alphabet. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, F, G, A, B, C, D. All right, and then now we determine. The way to do it would be to play it like this. Call it. That's a great lesson. Okay. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. And there's other ones that will run, you'll run into this problem with as well.